Hey YouTubers, Gohan. It's been a while. I'm gonna feed the baby banded water snake. Ooh, drop the lid. <laughs> And you can see the bullfrog's still doing good. There's Ivan. It's going to take him a minute to grab it. You can see Ivan's doing good. Ooh, yeah, he's going for it. Ooh, he grabbed it backwards. Come on, get it by the head. <laughs> Easier to eat it. That was a goat cart, go a golf cart going by, and you can also hear Sarkadas. There's the head. We've got a lot of jar of flies in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's a bit big, but it should be able to eat it. It's growing slower than Haze, so I do think this might be a male banded water snake. Haze is definitely a female. She's even birthed undeveloped yolk sacs once. Banded water snakes give live birth. But I'm thinking this might be a male, so <laughs> when I put them together in the future, they might end up breeding. I've been getting feeder goldfish and I still get it small frogs and baby toads. Variety is key. Make sure it gets all its vitamins and minerals. There, that's better. I don't want to get any closer because I'm spooking it. That's why it's moving. <laughs> I don't want to scare it too bad. It'll spit the fish out. But as you can see, the baby banded water snake has gotten a good deal bigger since I first got it, and it was eating little tiny minnows. He or she's gotten a bit bigger, and I still haven't gave it a name. I named my bullfrog, all my other animals, my, my big snake. I'll name it eventually. <laughs> I just want to think of a good one. The big water snake is named Haze. I'll do a feeding video of Haze soon. Yeah, I think it can put it down. <laughs> a few of these feeder goldfish might get too big for this one to eat. If that happens, I'll let them get even bigger and feed them to the big water snake. I got a little 10 gallon tank on the porch with feeder goldfish. And in my bedroom, I have a 30 gallon with tropical fish. And in the 30 gallon, I have one feeder goldfish. And it's already much bigger than the rest of them. I'm letting it get even bigger, and I'm going to feed that one to Haze. Ones like this would just be a little snack, a little tease to Haze. She's a lot bigger. I'll give you guys a look at Haze after this one's done eating. And when I eventually do feed the goldfish in my bedroom to Haze, I will video it. I want to let it get a bit bigger. It's about twice the size of the one this one's eaten. I want it to get about four times the size of this one that this baby's eaten. So today you have seen Ekans versus Magikarp, and Ekans is winning. <laughs> Corp, 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 Ekans. Corp.
Well, you're never going to be a Gyarados, but part of you will live on inside of the snake <laughs> as part of him. <laughs> After it eats, I'll let it sit in the jar for a little bit and then I'll put it back in its little cage. It's best not to mess with a snake right after it eats or it can regurgitate its meal. I'll let it sit for just a little bit. I'll drain the water and put it back in its enclosure. When it gets a bit bigger, I should be able to put it with haze. They're not cannibalistic, but it's so small that haze could hurt it by crawling over it. She's massive <laughs> compared to this one. Haze is thick. So better safe than sorry. I've been keeping them separated. There we go. Got out of focus for a minute. Taking a little longer than I thought, but as you've seen, this was a pretty big <laughs> meal for this little snake. It won't need another one for a while. Come on, get in focus. There we go. That's pretty much the maximum of what this little guy can eat. But as it gets bigger, it will need larger meals. <laughs> And I still give them little things. I still give little tiny green tree frogs the haze once in a while. Little snacks. And it's done. I'm going to leave it be so it can swallow it the rest of the way down. And I'll put it back in its little cage in a minute. This is its little enclosure. A water dish big enough to completely submerge in. A few sticks to climb on. And leaves to hide under. I keep it clean. <laughs> and there's Bro Lee. If he ever yells Kakarot, I may wet myself. Attack, Bro Lee! <laughs> and here's Haze. She's a ripe big chicken. <laughs> I keep her cage spotless. I take good care of my animals. Her water dish is big enough to completely submerge in. And she's outgrowing her cave. She can still fit in it, but she's a bit cramped. So I'm going to have to build something or buy another cave. They're a bit pricey, so I might make her something. Cardboard won't work because I miss the cage once in a while to keep the humidity up. So I would have to use something that won't succumb to moisture. She loves her plants and she gets sun here, which also gives her her vitamin D. And when she gets too hot, she can crawl over to the other side of the tank or in the water dish. Well, until next time, please subscribe and leave a comment.